Hello YouTube, this is Daniel here from DB Tech Projects. I've got a little um, PowerShell script which, which I just want to show you guys. Um, if you have if you need to do any monitoring uh, early on during the day, you just want to check a lot of URLs um, for your company or external websites, um, this little PowerShell script will help you do it. So it's essentially get web stats and then you can just pass an array of URLs. So if we just run this here, and if we do get web stats, then we're just going to provide a list of URLs. So if we do google.com, twitter.com, and then we'll go for facebook.com and YouTube. Let's just going to go through and test all the websites. So we can see here it's gone through all the URLs, outputs the URL here, and then the HTTP status code for 200, which is OK. And then it just prints out the date here. So if we go through the actual function, what we can see is this is just enabling um, PowerShell to communicate under TLS 1.2 um, because you may get errors if you don't have this as some sites may refuse the connection and then we've got a for each loop in here which is going to take the urls which you pass through to the command and we're going to take the date and put it into a variable to put at the end of the code and when it runs through it's going to write the host the url and then just a string for http status code and then the PowerShell command there, which is invoke web request, and then the URI, and then we just provide it the URL, and we take the status code from there, and it just loops through all the URLs and outputs it. So <clears throat> under the hood, we are essentially just doing this here. So invoke web request, URI, google.com and that comes back there so if we just put this into a variable for let's say dollar request equals invoke web request uri google.com and then we just do dollar request dot status code and that gives us 200 to show the euro is okay um so as i said it's just a quick little um script which may help you out when you're monitoring a load of websites um i've got a github link for this which i'll place in the description and i've got plenty more videos coming up with um, a few powershell scripts and some other projects up and coming on the way so check out for those thank you and goodbye